Welcome to the Big Coach Leonard Parker Show, and I'm Big Coach Leonard Parker. And we're broadcasting from the Parker Retirement Resort today. And ooh-wee, do we got a good show for you all today. We got Mr. Eric Randall, who is the principal at Glen Oaks High School. We have Mr. Sean Bochamp, who is the head girls coach at Glen Oaks High. And we have Mr. Guan Thomas, who is the assistant girls coach at Glen Oaks High for the basketball team. We also have Mr. Brandon White, or Dr. Brandon White, who's the Liberty High Boys basketball coach. And they both will be bringing two players with them. Should be a good show today. Stay tuned. Hey, big coach. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Big Coach Leonard Parker Show, and I'm Big Coach Leonard Parker. And we're broadcasting today from the Parker Retirement Resort. And today's guest is the principal of Glen Oaks High School, Mr. Eric Randall. And we're going to call him Coach. Coach Randall has been in the education system for 28 years. He's been to schools uh, like Crestworth, Middle, Baton Rouge High as assistant principal. He also was at Southern Lab for two years as an assistant coach and Northeast as assistant coach. He did two tours of Baker High and he also was the head coach at Scotlandville High. Why he was at Baker High as the, the uh, assistant, the head coach, he was also the assistant principal. Uh, coach, thank you for coming today. Oh, thank you for having me this morning, Coach. All right, all right, all right. Morning. Brisk morning too, huh? Okay. Yeah. Now, Coach, coach um, he graduated from Southern University and he also uh, got his master's from Southern University in 2001. And he's a Glen Oaks High School graduate. Coach, we're gonna, grab, we're gonna get right into the questions. Um, you are now a principal at Glen Oaks High. That's right. Uh, how do you feel about uh, being principal of your alma mater? Well, first I have to say, uh, you know, God is. And, and don't tell him your plan. Mm. <laughs> Yeah. Because he'll show you he is. Right, right. And so I, I never imagined you ask how I feel. Of course I feel good because you, but the pressure is there, Coach. Let me make sure I'm, I'm clear about that. Okay. The pressure is there from your fellow alumni. The pressure is mm -hmm. there from the community. People they call you. you. Yeah. Uh, my mom still lives in that community, so I still know a lot of people. Of course people have moved out, died, and moved on, and people mm -hmm. have been. But it's a lot of pressure. But I tell you what, I, I don't take it light, Coach. You know, um, I, I'm there in the mornings and uh, no matter who's there, I need to give that effort that they're looking for, that consistency that we give as fathers, that mm -hmm. consistency we give as parents and as true professionals. Mm -hmm. So to be there is a lot of pressure, I'm gonna be honest with you, but uh, it, it's been more joyful than anything. It's all right, yes. it's all right. So coach, the year halfway over, a little bit more than halfway over. That's right. That's so, right. so how things been going this year? I, I tell you what, let me joke a little bit. Everything's been going well to answer your question. Uh -oh. But when I came in, I, I told the superintendent at the time, I said, look, I don't know everything. Now, I've worked under some great people. I've worked under Nan McCann at Baton Rouge. I've worked mm -hmm. under Miss McKay at Crestworth. I was under Jim Machen and uh, Miss Sterling at Southern Lab for all those years. And so I've been at Mr. LeBlanc. Um, so I've been around a lot of good ones now. And so even Dr. Brister. Yeah, yeah. You know, so you know, know Dr. Brister, Coach. You know, so um, I, I've been around a lot of good people. And so I, I never, you know, sometimes some certain things don't fit into the scheme of what you think you uh, are capable of doing or want to do. But bet, better yet, in my case, I, I just did, I, I wanted to stay close to the kids. You and I had this, you know, we have this thing with education and athletics. Yeah, so that's that's so uh, I, I was content as an AP to paint a vision for someone. Uh, and that takes a lot, you know, you have takes a lot of loyalty between the, the principal mm -hmm. and the AP. So I, I, I love that role. But this new role, um, we're in F school. And mm -hmm. so when I first got the job, but let me back up, I never finished. I, uh, I told him, I said, I don't know half of what I'm doing. Because in the AP, you know, you do certain things. It might be right. four sections, five sectors, and you may control that one of those mm -hmm. sectors. Discipline, mm -hmm. curriculum. Yeah. Curriculum, and then you may have uh, extracurricular things that's going on. You may have your AD as a part of your administrative team. So you have a lot of things there, and you're just responsible for one. Well, man, I tell you. All under your uh, umbrella now. One of the things, though, coming in, all of us under the umbrella. That's right, Coach. And one of the things I said, you know, I know a lot of times when you kind of have some things, I'm not going to say disarray, 
but it's not moving like we want it to go or most people want it to go. Uh, you have different ideologies, Coach. You have different visions. And so you have to come in with a simple vision. Mm. And that is, we're going to move the school performance school. Anything outside of that is yeah. irrelevant, Coach. Right. It really is because I tell kids all the time, I say to our parents, I say to my, our teachers, and I've been saying it for years. I got it from an educator. He said, uh, your, 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 your futures are too important for me to play with. And so that gives me the energy every morning to get up and get it done. What kind of special things are going on at your school? Special well, things? Yeah, uh, well, we have so many different entities that come over. Like last night, Judge Erica Green had her, her symposium there. So our community can, you know, our elderly community, they, they can take part in those different things. We have security there. I forgot my security oh. there. Boy, let me, Ooh, let me you would have messed sure up bad. Saying, That's right. That's the, oh, and man. they raised, most of those security dads work with my father mm -hmm. at Exxon. Yeah. And so what they do is they do a lot of community service. They did every day. I'm mm -hmm. not saying someday. Yeah. I think you came one day and oh, saw yeah. some of the older guys oh, there. I, I had a niece graduate from Glen Oaks, and that's when I first met them security dads. Yeah. Maybe 20 years ago. Yeah, I've been whooped by several of them. Yes. Yeah, oh, I, I got you. As a little boy. Watch out now. So to see them and for them to see me and us working toward, and I, I, I left them out. So I want to spend a little time with them. Those security dads, I tell you what, they take them to rodeos. They take the, the, the angle of rodeo. Um, Coach Duncan, we talked about him. They're going up to New York for the indoor That's national right. title. That's another level and right so there. so they took care of the tickets, the plane tickets for all of the athletes that are going and the coaches, yeah. uh, the hotels and so forth. So what they do is, you know, Exxon have their little uh, grand cyber grant deal. And so, man, they, they bring in so much money based upon just their volunteers. Mm. And, and, and we all know that we must have capital to move something. Yeah. You just can't do it with love. Gotta have finance. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Can't just do it with love, yeah. coach. Yeah. You gotta, gotta have some money. So we we are able also it, 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 it helps to have a Darius Langes who graduated from the same school and he was uh previously the president of the board in East East Bad Report and yeah. he's currently still on there. Yeah. And been there for a while. <laughs> so uh, we, it's so many Coach Parker programs. We allow them toy for ties. We have a partnership with them. We have go home work. It is an array of different things that are over there that's going on. Now, special program, we are magnet school too, now, Coach. We right. have a magnet component that deals I heard with you say the, lawyers and mm -hmm. stuff. Well, I thought it was wise that Mr. Uh, my friend, but he's on the campus, so he's uh, uh, Mr. Watkins. He's a lawyer by trade, and he has a law firm, but he works at the school. Mm. So that helps with some things there too. So uh, with him being there, he created that. They take him to the law school on Southern's campus. They take him to the law school. Uh, we have a judge that'll be there. I can't remember the judge's last name, so I apologize, but they'll be there Monday to speak to our lit kids, leaders in training, uh, mm -hmm. our, our other uh, kids that are in lit lawyers in training. Mm -hmm. So um, also, I think our librarian, Ms. Rivers, she does a great job with a lot of social emotional learning old school stuff. You, Coach, you have so many games in here. Mm -hmm. the kids got to get back to, you know, you put the pieces there versus the technology. Technology is fine. I don't want to take that away. You know it's hands on. Hands on. Yes, sir. Kinesthetic tactile type mm -hmm. stuff where we can tell how you set the board up, you know, how you begin, how you interact with someone, you know, how you have conflict resolution skills. So all of those different uh, components, they intertwine. Right. And a lot of it I didn't even know existed, Coach, because I told my mom, I told a lot of it, I said, there's no reason a child, that's at several schools now, Coach, mm -hmm. but we're talking about Glen Oaks. There's no reason a kid at Glen Oaks should be at home at 3 o'clock. Mm -hmm. There's no reason to be there at 5, five o'clock. They, they should be at the school. By the time mom gets off at 3, 30, 4 o'clock, start her, her dinner, yeah. you know, you ought to be coming in, putting your stuff down, jumping in the tub, uh, maybe starting the homework, mm -hmm. eating, and go back and finish it. Because we have just so many things. We have all the sports teams. I mean, I, that's a given. We, we, we have volleyball, uh, basketball, uh, track, indoor, cross country. We even have wrestling at uh, Glows. And let me say this, our wrestling team was a, a, a surprise this year because we had three to go to the state and they did extremely well. But in Baton Rouge, we had two third place finishers and a second place finish. And we had one, two girls that How many years I had that program? Uh, two years. Two yeah, or three. Just start. Okay, start. two or three. Mm -hmm. And so uh, Coach Porsche does a great job with that. Uh, also, we, 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 we still introduce baseball coach in the inner city. So we have to do that. It's not about the records. Again, it's about saving lives. Coach, you, you see yeah. the killings that's going on. You right. see kids having conflict. And I think that with all of these events you're asking me about, do we, what we have on our campus, 
you have so many outlets to go work that something out. for everybody it's something for everybody and when there's a conflict it's somebody to go to mm. you have people that could be my father that could possibly be their great grandfather that's mm -hmm. on the campus in the security day we have JRLTC. I said I talked about the uh, medical program, so we offer that for you know for students in the medical field. We also have a sports management program. Now we need mm -hmm. to improve that. Get some kids going and get them interested. Maybe get some um, relationships with Southern University or internship with Southern mm -hmm. and LSU since they're right, even BRCC, so they can see how that is a lucrative field as well, Coach. Mm -hmm. You know, for our girls and boys at the school. So, Coach, it's an array of things wow. that's going on from the sixth grade mm -hmm. all the way to twelfth grade, Coach. So, Coach, Coach uh, 28 years of experience now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, you see yourself in the future, big guy. Well, I told my wife, and you and I talked too, because I'm probably going to do uh, two more years. Um, it wouldn't, you know, that drop. I know a lot of people want it, but it, it, I don't think it'll warn. I'm still young, Coach. I'm 40, 49, Coach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, in two years, I'll be 51. What I want to do is try to bank, you know, I, from a strategic standpoint, talking to older guys um, that have already been this route, mm -hmm. uh, bank that money, maybe go back and do some things in another parish, uh, and just stretch coaches, yeah. do some things outside, go into a charter school, see what that sector is like. I've been in public, the public sector for those all of those 20 years, coach. So just to see, coach, and you know as well, I mean, the money is great. You got to have that to live. We talked about that, but uh, just staying around, staying vibrant. I may get back into coaching again, mm -hmm. coach. Uh, Watch out now. But I want to do it at a low tier level. Maybe junior high. Uh, junior high. Oh, elementary. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, with the basics, coach, because Fun there's so many great guys that you coach that are in it now. I've coached, they're in it now. It's their time, coach. So we we, we, we typically neglect the little ones. Yeah. And so, you know, how to how to dribble with your offhand, you know, what's a defensive stance and you know Black out. Block how to block out. out. I don't see them doing out. it sometimes. Black out. What's leverage? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The training aspect of building kids up as well, Coach. So I, I think that's what I want to do now. I'm thinking about going to law school in the fall. You know, okay. I, I have a old, my oldest son. He um, He's almost finished with me. I should have started with him, but just didn't have the motivation then. But I, I see so much in that field. But, but I never get away from kids, though, Coach. Yeah. That's just who I am. And just like you, Coach, you look around, you, you know, you bring so much joy when you look into yearbooks. And think about it, Coach, the thing about it, a lot of people got to understand, after 50, mm -hmm. we can have a better life than before 50. Yes, sir. I want my last 50 to be better than my That's first right. 50. That's right, Coach. And you talking about starting a new career yeah. at 50, 51. Yes, sir. I'm not scared to do it. Coach. Coach. It ain't nothing like it. It's just like yeah. a football game. That's it. Like That's it. Game. I like that. Yeah, yeah. Coach. Just start something new, Coach. That's right. Well, and I tell kids You're older. You ain't getting old. That's right. You're older. Reinvent yourself. Yes, sir. I yeah. like it. And like technology, it. Coach. Think about it, Coach. If you want to do some of these things 25, 30 years ago, you didn't have technology today, Coach. I mean, you, you, you could get it done, but how much easier? Coming up next, we have the head girls basketball coach at Glen O'Tide, Mr. Sean Bochap, and assistant girls coach at Glen O'Tide, Mr. Juan Thomas. Nobody will satisfy your outdoor needs like reliable roofing. Over the past 15 years, I had two roofing systems, including a chimney installed by Reliable Roofing. I highly recommend them to get the job done. Reliable roofing, where no job is too big or small, just give us a call. No matter the job, big or small, give us a call. Christine Lacaz, licensed massage therapist, is offering appointment-only massage therapy at Modern Technique Salon. The massage services are offered on Saturdays and Mondays by appointment only. No walk-ins. Call Christine Lacaz at 225-610-4908. That's massage therapy by appointment only at Modern Technique Salon, located on Highway 1 in Addis. Call Christine Lacaz for your appointment today, 225-610. 610-4908. You can't smell it, but you can almost taste it. And whether it's for a family get-together or a game day feast, having Manda in the mix always sounds good. For three generations, their quality meats and original seasonings have made Manda a Louisiana legend and made their family sausage Louisiana's family sausage. Manda Fine Meats. 
The flavor says it all. Live and play on the fairway at Greystone Golf and Country Club, a serene, challenging golf destination located in Denham Springs. For tee times and membership opportunities, go to greystonecountryclub.com. Visit Treads and Care Tire Company's new location on Hooper Road in Central. Locally owned for over 50 years, Treads and Care is known for quality automotive repair and top-notch customer service. I'd like to invite you to come out and see us at our new location in Central. And now we have Coach Sean Bochamp. He's the head girls basketball coach at Glen Oaks High School. Coach Bochamp has been in the education profession for 19 years. He got his high school degree from Roger Bacon High School in Cincinnati. He also graduated from St. John University in New York. And um, he played three sports while he was in college, uh, football, basketball, and track. Uh, his positions while coaching include head football coach, head girls basketball coach, head track coach. He was a wrestling coach and baseball coach. And he's currently, like I said before, the head girls basketball coach in uh, Glen Oaks. And we also have an assistant with us today, Coach Juan Thomas. He's a graduate of Broadmoor High School. He got his uh, university degree from Grand Canyon University. He's been in the education profession for 13 years. Uh, he's currently assistant girls basketball coach at Glen Oaks, but his positions include, uh, he was the defense coordinator at Broadmoor for five years. He was defense coordinator at Glen Oaks for five years. He currently, this past year, was the defense coordinator at Tara, and he also played a little semi-pro football. He played for the Baton Rouge Bandits, the LA Eagles, and the Louisiana Steelers. And he just was fortunate enough to get the head football coach at J.S. Clark uh, Leadership Academy in Opelousas, and we're going to talk about that a little later. But, Coach, we're going to start off with Coach Bojamp. Nice to have both of y'all coming. Glad I appreciate it. Glad to be here. Coach, you know, Cincinnati and, 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 and St. John, how did you end up going up there, or how did you end up coming down here? Well, I'm originally from New Orleans. Okay. And um, during high school, I wanted to go to John McDonald High School, uh -huh. and my mom wasn't going to let me go there. So my dad had played at uh, Southern and ended up getting drafted and played for the Cincinnati Bengals. And mm -hmm. he was in Cincinnati and he was on the end of his career. So she sent me up there with him. So that's how I ended up in Cincinnati. Go be with dad. <laughs> so Cole, tell me this, you, you got your daughter playing. Help, tell me out with the balance of being a father and being a coach. Well, honestly, my daughter probably does it better than me. Mm, she, to um, I heard this one before. Yeah, she keeps me she keeps me separated from dad and coach. Okay. And when when she does it, it's like we'll finish practice and we'll get in the car and drive home and I'll start talking about basketball and then she'll give me that. <sighs> hey man, and then she'll be like, over. and then she'll, and she'll say dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, yeah, one word. I said, you right. I got you, I got you, know, I like and that. And I would, you know, and I would transition even with games. Like, you know, after games, I would go to you know, first as a coach at the, at the school and yeah. talk about what I need to talk. But when I got home, it was, hey, you played a great game. Or, hey, don't don't feel frustrated. You know, you did a good job. Mm -hmm. You know, just keep doing whatever the coach tell you. You know, and we, you know, we kind of been doing that for a while now. Because she's stuff. one of the main reasons I've gotten back into coaching girls, girls basketball. That's it. So, co Coach, 29 years, and I asked your principal this uh, in our last interview, um, you know, well, how you see, you, you think about the drop? Or you think about not doing a drop? I know you're coming close to the finish line. So you could do 30, get in the drop for three more, or, or just do the 30 and get out. That's, uh, that's funny you asked me that because I was just talking with a friend of mine, Mr. Pate. He's our uh, one of our math teachers over at Glen Oaks. And mm -hmm. He's getting ready to retire. And I was talking about the drop and not drop. Right. And he was saying, you know, if you do 40, you get 100%. And you know you, they take care. If you do less than that, then you know you don't get. They're, the, they're gonna get seventy five percent. Right. Yeah. So he was like, you got to look at that. I said then. That twenty five percent hurt, coach. 
that twenty five percent hurt. It does at times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you, you know, got I, a plan, I got something planned. So I got something planned. Plan. So plan. plan. Yes, sir. So my whole thing was the whole focus is um, if I do drop, if I do those three years, I know I have to take a year off if I decide to come back. Okay. If I don't do drop, then and I just leave clear and free, then you know I have I have plans to go somewhere else. Okay. And continue and probably pick up what I would have That's possibly right. gained from drop. Plus a little more. Right. Plus a little more. And so you uh, as you have my my fellow compadre here, uh -huh. I'm gonna uh, watch out now. I'm gonna look more towards. Leaving when it's time for me to leave. Okay. And I'm going to transition to J.S. Clark myself. Oh, well, watch out you now. You know, hopefully, if yeah. he's still out there, to still building this program. That's good stuff. I so. like that. I like that. So so we got Coach Born Thomas, and he's the new head football coach at uh, J.S. Clark Leadership Academy. Coach, uh, how does it feel to be a head football coach? After all those defensive coordinator jobs, that's 11 years defense coordinator. You got 13 total, but you've been 11 as D.C. So uh, how you feel? You got your new head job and going to Appaloosa, Scope. Leaving the Baton Rouge metropolitan area, though. I'm excited about the, the opportunity. Um, I, I hate that I had to go so far away to yeah. finally get seen. That's all right, baby. Um, but as Coach Bochamp told me uh, this morning in a message, he said, it ain't, it's not about the people who overlooked you. It's about the people who saw you. So That's it. I'm excited. I like that. I like and, uh, that. I start on uh, Monday. I'm looking forward to, uh, you know, not only coaching but teaching. So you're gonna be been doing double duty on Monday. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be still helping the girls, oh, and yeah. you're gonna be and you're gonna be focusing on your future down down there. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go my first day, and then I'm getting on the road, drive two hours to New Orleans. Yeah. And then uh, be back at work on Tuesday morning. You gonna make it work. Yeah. Young guy, you're gonna make it work. That's right. Ain't, ain't nothing wrong with that. So coach, I hear you're gonna have your J V program. You're gonna be able to you're, you're not going straight into varsity next year. So you're gonna have a JV program next year and then you go into varsity the year I, after. So I I'm I have two varsity games scheduled this year. Okay. Uh against um Lafayette Renaissance Charter. Mm -hmm. And uh I have one uh at the end of the season against North Central that'll be our homecoming game. All right. Um, the following year, I fall into that one A district with Capital High Point P, mm -hmm. and um, I already have Lafayette Renaissance Charter as my uh, week one, so I just probably have to find me another opponent um, to fall in. But it, it I'll be yeah. That's it. So yeah, so it's one year to develop, and, and then and then you you going full blown in a single A ball. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's it. Okay. Um, you, you you started working on your coaching staff yet? Uh, coach, I. I we put out a, a, a memo on the uh, LHSA website um, that I'm looking for assistance. Mm -hmm. I have been uh, interviewing uh, possible coordinators. Right. Um, but to be honest with you, um, I'm really trying to focus on the offensive side of the ball because I could I could handle the defensive side myself if need be. Yeah. Um, so you're looking for a good assistant that can help you on offense? I understand. I understand that. What about strength and condition program? That's that's a that's a big one. Are you looking to do it yourself, or are you looking to hire somebody? I actually uh, interviewed a, a strength and conditioning coach, and uh, he'll also be a, a linebacker coach um, if he uh, mm -hmm. decides to take the offer. Now, when you when you start these these programs, coach, facilities are not where you want them at yet. Uh, uniforms, equipment. You know, how, how you looking on things like your facilities, your equipment, and where you going to practice at, uh, where you going to play your games at? Um, we're going to play our games at Donald Gordon, uh, home games, mm -hmm. and then uh, the away games we'll play them on the road. The, uh, the, the school purchased everything that you need to be successful. We just, we just got to put it out and put it back up when we finish because it's not like a, a it's not like at a school where you can just you know leave everything out. But we have uh, storage areas to put, we have everything. Five man, we have shoots, mm. we have all that, coach. Uh, and you got fundraise for none of that? No, I got all that. That's but all we're right. still gonna fundraise. Yeah. So, um, I uh, yeah, recondition helmets, recondition shoulder pads. Oh, we got we got two sets of helmets. We got three different uniforms. Um, and uh. I'm, I'm gonna try to order the the, the kids a, a black set of uniforms this this mm -hmm. uh, this season, um, but I, I pretty much got everything we need. They give me you support. Know, they give me support. And and next year we'll be opening a new school, uh, state of the art school, 
own football stadium, so I won't have to go and play nowhere else. I'll be able to play at my school. Now, you know what they say, Coach. You better ask for it your first year because you might don't get it your second. So, <laughs> so ask for it off the top. I, I need this, this, I need it all. I need it, I need it, I need it. And, and, and you know, sometimes even if you don't need it, you need it. <laughs> yes, indeed. That's it. We got Coach Sean Bochamp. He's the head girls basketball coach at, uh, at Glen Oaks High School. He'll be going into the second round of the playoffs on Monday. And uh, we have his assistant coach who's just got the job at J.S. Clark Leadership Academy, Coach Juan Thomas. This is Big Coach Leonard Parker, and we'll be back with his players, his uh, high school players. And now we have two girls basketball players from Glen Oaks High. They both are juniors, uh, Miss Milan Bochamp and Miss Taylor Jordan. Thank y'all for coming. Thank you for having us. All right. We're going to start a few questions here. Um, big question right here. What do y'all believe is, is the most difficult challenge or greatest challenge um, in athletics today? Um, I really feel like it's the confidence and the uh, mm. belief belief in yourself yeah because in this day and age they have a lot of people that is very you know well known and people like i don't know i don't know how to explain it like yeah. self esteem people, yeah. you gotta have self esteem yeah you have to because mm -hmm. it, like in this day and age they have a lot of people that are good mm -hmm. and they have a lot of people that have the opportunity, but don't have what other people have. Mm -hmm. And they look down on themselves because they're not getting the attention that somebody else is getting, but they deserve it more than the other person. Yeah, I got you. But they gotta believe in themselves. You gotta, you gotta believe in yourself. You gotta yeah. keep going. That's it. What you think? Just to relate off what she said, uh, I think it's the mental state of the game mm -hmm. that causes a lot of athletes to fall. I feel like a coach just play a big part into a player's life Especially like when you like, cause a lot of players have bad games, and sometimes players shut down easily from mistakes, turnovers, getting yelled at, and it, you can you might you might not only have one bad game, you might have two bad games, mm -hmm. you might have a bad season, but you just have to keep going. I feel like that's the major thing that stop athletes they are from progress. Hold, yeah, hold them back. In, in so the so the, so the coach could play that factor and help. But you as a teammate can play that fact also and encourage your teammate, yes. hey, it's going to be okay. Look, I'm coming back to you. You better make that. I'm coming back to you. Now, I know you missed that shot, but I'm coming back. Right. Be ready. Yeah, you, you, can, you can help it out a lot, you know. Um, what are y'all short-term goals for this season? Or long-term goals? Well, my short-term goal for this season is to, well, for these last rounds, I want us to be able to grow from every game that we play. Just keep elevating, elevating, elevating until we get to the last game and just go all out for it. Watch out. Go for that state championship. Yeah. All right. You, you agree with her? You just want to win. <laughs> you just want to win. I just want to win. I want it so bad. Yes, indeed. Now, I know you had a little injuries earlier in the year. You back. You back 100%? So. It's it. It's all right. I can do is it's, crazy. It's good to see you on that court. <laughs> then, now, y all, y all, now, how many years you played basketball? I've been playing basketball since I was like nine, six. Nine years old? Nine, six. Nine, six. Nine, six. nine, six. Six years like, old? I said, like, either <laughs> nine or six years old. I don't know. I don't remember. You don't remember? But, but I started good. back playing in ISO. So you've been playing about, uh, we'll say, nine years, maybe? Yeah. What about you? Ooh, believe it or not, I haven't been playing, I haven't been playing that long. Okay. I'm, We're talking now. Mm. We're not so you're a junior now? Yeah. Not, you've been playing since your freshman? Uh, I've okay. started, start, I've probably started playing A grade. Okay, okay, so so four years now. Mm -hmm. So so on that journey of six, nine years and four years, who has helped y'all out? <laughs> I just realized what you said. Yeah. Six, nine years. Yeah. Six, nine. Yeah. 
Who, who, who didn't help y'all out on this journey? And that could be parents, that could be coaches, that could be other players, that could be brothers. Who didn't help y'all on this journey uh, um, to get y'all to where y'all at now? Well, I would say um, the first person, well, I was with Coach Bo, because I wouldn't be playing basketball if Coach Bo could find me in my driveway. Uh-huh. <laughs> and, great. Co- and convince my mom to let me play. Uh, that's it? I like that. You always... Mm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. What about anybody else? And my yeah, my mom. Like she's she's been keeping me sane on this this path, you know. She, she does, did she play or she just encouraged? She played, but she actually she was a, a all star. Yeah, Anyways, yeah. you gotta give it that. Give it, give, just give yeah, it to just, her. Just give it to her. <laughs> That's it. And what about you? Who who helped you along your journey? My father. Okay. Um, he helped me. Cause there was so many times I was ready to, but he pushed me. He was my biggest push. Cause I'm lazy. Okay, watch out now. <laughs> so he pushed me to be able to keep going. Mm-hmm. He put me in so many camps, extra work, even when I didn't want to work. He was my biggest motivation. Also my brothers, they helped me push. I remember we used to play in the driveway, you know, mm-hmm. just, just play yeah. outside all night. I feel like everybody who came into my life with or coached me was the biggest. What's good to be? Help me along this journey. Yeah, help me, help me along on the journey. Okay. Would you like to say your brother's name? Makai Bochamp and Sean Bochamp the second. Okay. Right. They help you and you appreciate it. Yes, I appreciate it. And my mama. Oh, watch out now. Watch out. Watch out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man, you better say mom. Okay. <laughs> All right. Don't be bad. What uh, what kind of things y'all done to make yourself a better player? Mm-hmm. Weight room, um, practice, uh, done better in your grades. What y'all think y'all done to make you a better player? Your defense, your shooting. I think what made me become a better player was understanding my understanding my role on the team. Okay. Like, I had to be, to step up sometimes. I had to be that person. I had to put in the extra work if I wanted to be better at what I wanted to do. Okay. You got a big role. That point guard, big role. They might need you to score 10. They might you not need you to score none. And just get everybody involved. And then, and use the communicating, the running offense, and sometimes on the defense. Right. Yeah, because I saw you was, um, you, you, you was guarding a big girl. In the middle of the lane, uh, yes, uh, uh, Thursday, you had to make sure she didn't get the ball in that middle. You know, that's all right. What about you? What made you a better player? Just, um, maybe a better. I feel like me and Coach Bo just—I wasn't gonna let myself give up because there's been many times where I could have gave up, like especially my freshman year mm-hmm. when I was ineligible. I could have gave up there, but I didn't, and I kept pushing myself. Because okay. I want to be better. That's all right. That's it. That's it. <laughs> now, this, 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 this is a funny one. And y'all, it could be one of y'all, or it could be one of your teammates. But are there any nicknames on the team that, that really stand out? We really have a lot. Like, Talk to me. Okay. Well, my nickname is T12. Okay. T. What the T for? Team? Or? Taylor. Taylor 12. <laughs> okay. That makes sense. Yeah. And you're number 12. I'm number 12. That's, that's yeah. simple enough right there. I'm swaggy. Yeah, <laughs> D12. My nickname, my nickname is Choo Choo. Okay. When I was little, I used to, uh, I used to really go hard to the pay. <laughs> yeah. And whoever was in my way. Like a train run over. Choo Yes, indeed. That's how I got You had a lot nickname. of car accidents out there. <laughs> a lot of car accidents out there. That's yes. all right. And it's still, it's still staying. It's still staying. You still be aggressive and go in there and try to, you, do you pick up some charges? Are you still picking up some of them charges? It was one charge I got this season. Okay. I didn't get a charge. No other this season. Hmm. Let me see. St. Joe's game? St. Joseph? Mm-hmm. You ain't getting no charge in that St. Joe's game? Mm-mm. Okay, I must have announced in the wrong game. Okay, no problem. <laughs> Choo-choo. All right. <laughs> Let's tell me this. Any, what about any uh, other uh, teammates with a, a great nickname? Maybe a basketball nickname? Yeah, we got one. Oh, we got two. Uh, we have a freshman. Her name is Nicole. Called too cold. Too cold. Mm. She that she 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 can hit them shots like that. Ooh, yes. 
Yes, indeed. She's gonna be really, gonna yes. be really good to you. That's all right. Too cold. It's a play. Because her last name is, I mean, no, because her name is Nicole Rock. I got it. Makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Mm hmm. Too cold. That's all right. That's all right. Well, let's see here. We're going into our last question, okay? Anybody y'all like to send a shout out? I know y'all said y'all uh, who helped you along the journey, but just maybe a teammate or somebody you just like the security dads. Somebody y'all like to send a shout out to and say thank you very much for anything. The security dads. That, okay. that, that's a good. Cause I, I heard the security dads say this one time. Well, we gonna support them boys tonight, but. If them girls was playing, we wouldn't even be here. I said, I know he didn't say that, but that's how he, that's how they feel about y'all. They, they, yeah, y'all, y'all in front of them boys. Yeah, they love us. That's it, that's it. Yeah, Shout we out. love them. That's it, that's what I like to hear that. Yeah. Anybody else? Y'all better get an opportunity, boy. This is going to be on TV in about a month. I better, y'all be, well, you're going to make some people mad. You don't see that shout out. Of course, my parents, my dad, for all those long hours that we sat in the driveway shooting form shots. There you go. There you go. And so, give me his name. Daryl Jordan. There you go. Mrs. <laughs> Daryl. Anybody? Uh, I want to shout out my, all my teammates that's on my team. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate all of them because all of them are one of my motivations to keep playing and stick it out. Another shout out I'll give it to is Coach Taylor. Mm -hmm. She's not really a coach, but she used to play basketball for Scotlandville. Okay. And she came, she comes like sometimes when she came. from Texas and she comes work me out. And she was really, personal trainer. Yeah. She yeah. was really one of the people that made me open up and have really was really my game changer for this season. That's good. So Okay. And Coach JT. Okay, watch out now. You better get him in. All right. Well, look, we have Miss Milan Bochamp and Miss Taylor Jordan. Nobody will satisfy your outdoor needs like reliable roofing. Over the past 15 years, I had two roofing systems, including a chimney installed by Reliable Roofing. I highly recommend them to get the job done. Reliable Roofing, where no job is too big or small, just give us a call. No matter the job, big or small, give us a call. Christine Lacaz, licensed massage therapist, is offering appointment-only massage therapy at Modern Technique Salon. The massage services are offered on Saturdays and Mondays by appointment only. No walk-ins. Call Christine Lacaz at 225-610-4908. That's massage therapy by appointment only at Modern Technique Salon, located on Highway 1 in Addis. Call Christine Lacaz for your appointment today, 225-610. Six one zero four nine zero eight. You can't smell it, but you can almost taste it. And whether it's for a family get together or a game day feast, having Manda in the mix always sounds good. For three generations, their quality meats and original seasonings have made Manda a Louisiana legend and made their family sausage Louisiana's family sausage. Manda Fine Meats. The flavor says it all. No one can stop me when I taste the feeling. Nothing could ever bring me down. Nothing, nothing could ever bring me down. Taste the feeling. Live and play on the fairway at Greystone Golf and Country Club, a serene, challenging golf destination located in Denham Springs. For tee times and membership opportunities, go to greystonecountryclub.com. Visit Treads and Care Tire Company's new location on Hooper Road in Central. Locally owned for over 50 years, Treads and Care is known for quality automotive repair and top-notch customer service. I'd like to invite you to come out and see us at our new location in Central. And now we have Coach Brandon White. He's a head boys basketball coach at Liberty High. He's been in the education profession 
for 13 years. In eight of those years, he, he's been at Liberty High. He's a graduate of Glen Oaks High School. He received his undergrad and his master's degree from Southern University. Then he went on to Southeastern University and received his doctor's degree. He's also the athletic director at Liberty High. Coach, thank you for coming. No problem. Thank you for having me. All right. Coach, uh, what's your record right now? Right now we're 28 and 4. 28 and 4. Yeah. And, and, and power ranking? Um, rank number two. Number two. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's pretty good. Y'all going to have that bye. Y'all going to have that bye yeah. next Friday. First, first round bye. First round bye. Okay, so Coach, um, just just give me an overview of the season and uh, how you think y'all did this year. Yeah, so um, overall, you know, the team, um, I think we've we done pretty well up to this point. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's three parts of the season. You got your your preseason part uh, where you're playing games, you know, getting accustomed to what you do. Mm -hmm. um, then you have your district, and then you go into the playoffs. And so now we're at the playoff part. But um, just leading into this um, year, uh, we did a lot of out-of-town out traveling this year. Mm -hmm. We went to um, Memphis, Dallas, um, Vegas. Um, and so we got good experience. Um, three out-of-state tournaments. Three out-of-state tournaments, playing in those tournaments, um, then coming back to play in the state. So. Um, I think the season has been going good for us so far. That's all right. That's all right, Coach. Okay. What teams, uh, we done pulled it up on the, uh, on the TV, what teams do you think going to be the challenge for y'all this year? Yeah, well, you know, um, St. Thomas Moore, they always, you know, tough. pretty tough and, yeah. um, you know, at the top. But then you also have a school like, you know, Southwood Jesuit. You have Carr in New Orleans. You know, you have the traditional Scotlandville. Mm -hmm. um, you got to think about the – all the teams in the Catholic League down in New Orleans, like the Brother Martins and right, uh, right. Um, St. Augs, you know, as well as, you know, of course, Catholic High that won a state championship last year. But, you know, even um, a school that, um, that a coach that does a really good job is Michael Hagan down at Barnable High. Okay. And so, um, you they know. They're in the division? Yep, they're in the division. I believe they're ranked like 17th or 18th. Okay. But they're one of those teams that, um, you know, could be a top 10 team easily in our division, so. Y'all got a motto, uh, and I saw, uh, I talked to you about it about a month ago, and it's called All or Nothing. All or Nothing. Can you explain it to me? Yep, and so, um, you know, the, going into this year, of course we was we didn't compete in the playoffs last year. Correct. And so, um, you know, we were kind of upset about it, but we moved on from it, and so, you know, I told my team at the beginning of this year that, you know, we've everyone on this team have, has been a part of a district championship. You know, we've been to a state championship. Mm -hmm. um, the only thing we haven't done was won a state championship. And so I told them this this year is, you know, it's all or nothing. Either we go win it, you know, or we didn't accomplish anything. You know, because we we you know this senior group had, like I said, they've been a part of district a champ. district championship, a state runner up. You know, so the last thing for this group to accomplish will be a state championship. So. We just went on with the all and that this year. Good group of seniors. Great group of seniors. That's all. Now, be, I'm going I'm to I'm turn it to the athletic director side. Um, what are some of the highlights of your athletic department? Uh, so, um, you know, in, in my eight years of, of being an AD, uh, we've accomplished some great things. I've been a part of um, starting up a football program. We didn't have a football program at first. Um, I started the baseball program, the softball program. Mm. Um, so. Those are some of the highlights, but overall we have um, 20 district championships. In eight years. In eight years, 20 district championships. We have um, 16, um, we have, I'm sorry, 17 all academic, um, state, all state academic students. Right, right. Um, we have three state titles, um, and we have six runner-up titles, you know, but, um, you know, most importantly, we've sent over like, 40 kids to college within a span of eight years, you mm -hmm. know, and so on. Um, I just think overall we have some great coaches that work hard with their team, mm -hmm. and, um, you know, we've been able to, you know, help the student athletes continue to grow and develop. Mm -hmm. Co Coach, um, where do you see Liberty basketball in the future? Uh, so, um, you know, our biggest thing as a coaching staff, well, we have quite a few coaches, as you know, but um, our vision, my vision as a as the coach of the, our program is to make our program into a national uh, household name, mm -hmm. you know, um, not just the citywide or the statewide, you know, I want to be able to compete nationally. And um, I think we're doing so, you give your student athletes um, more opportunity, more exposure, 
to mm -hmm. further their playing career, their academic career in college, you know. So um, my thing is to just continue to compete in national tournaments um, and just build our brand up across the nation. You mm -hmm. know, this year uh, we were able to – we. Um, on the max preps rankings, uh, we cracked into the top hundred this year. Okay. And so, um, you know, it's just one of those things I can remember in year one and two being like ranked fourteen thousand. Yes, know, indeed. Yeah. And so, just to see the progress, the progress that we've made in such short time with our program, um, that's all right. You know, it, it's it's been you know very rewarding. You know, um, you know with what we've done. So. But I always tell our guys too, the only thing we haven't done was want to stay tight or have want to stay tighter yet. So, it's time. you know, of course it's, yep, like you say, it's time, but mm -hmm. um, that's what we really focused on doing. Okay, all right. Coach Brandon White, Dr. Brandon White, he's on a mission to win him a state championship. That's the only thing that he haven't accomplished. Uh, next up, we'll have two of the Liberty High uh, boys basketball players. Now we have Mr. Carson Franklin, who's a junior, and Mr. Eric Hitchens, who's a senior. They play for Liberty High School boys basketball team. Guys, thank y'all for coming. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, man. Guys, we're gonna ask y'all a few questions about y'all basketball See, Y'all done had a blockbuster year, man. Um, I'm looking at the power rankings right there, y'all. Uh, 25 and, uh, and, and three, um, and y'all also number two in the power ranking. And uh, how y'all think the year done went so far? It's going well for us. Um, we've accomplished most of the stuff that we already wanted to do. Like we won the Tarkanian Classic this year. That was really big for us. What's, what, what, where was it? That was in Vegas. Watch out now. Oh, okay. Um, I wish I would have. All we got to do is just win state. Yes, indeed. Yeah, we, we've accomplished a lot this past year. Most of us, we've accomplished all of our goals. We still got more to do. Yes, sir. We got, what what y'all have got? The, the, uh, we're going to get into that later. That's, that's one of our questions coming up. So we're looking at, y'all still got more to do. So. Short-term goals, long-term goals. What y'all think? Short-term was district. We won our district. That's the first, to first time winning five eight district. Right, right. So our long-term is to win the state, finish it off. Okay, I'm gonna come back to you on that. One. What you think? Our short-term goals was to, you know, dominate this whole year, but there's still more to go. But our long-term goals is to win a state championship, but also get all the five seniors that we have into someplace nice. Five seniors. I, I like that. I like it. Everybody go somewhere. I, I, I let y'all coach off the hook on this one, but I, I, I'm gonna see if I can get y'all. This is just a question. Um, what do y'all think is tougher? Just, a, just, a, just a, we think about this a little bit. Winning a district championship, cause y'all play in the toughest district in the state of Louisiana. That's my personal opinion. Or winning the state championship. Hmm. I say. It make you think, ain't it? I really say state. Yeah. You only get one chance. If you lose, that's it. Yeah, in the district you you have a chance. To Even if, it. okay, I like that. That's a good answer. I said winning the state championship. You know, in the district, uh, you can go four and one, three and one, but you know you have another game left. Okay. But in, in the state championship, the road to the playoffs is one and zero, and it's about who better that night. Yes, indeed. I got yeah yeah y'all answered that one well. Y'all answered that well. Now guys, guys, I I know Liberty. Um, they got some real good GPAs. That you know, this is a magnet school, and uh, you know. Uh, can I, can I ask you y'all GPAs? I currently have a 4.0 GPA. 4.0? Yes, sir. Yeah, not, not, can I, you ain't made a B in high school yet? I made a B, but... You I had a, another a, a, a class where you got honors, yes, and it quick kicked it back up. Yes, sir. That's all right, man. Woo, that's a little better than all right. I'm sorry. Let me yeah. give you one. Ooh, wee. God, dog. Yo, hit you. Uh, I currently have a 3.8 GPA. All right. Uh, got a couple Bs I need to pick up. Okay. Starting off strong. What 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 subject y'all made them bees in? Y'all remember? History of class and math. Okay. Uh, math and chemistry. Chemistry, yeah. That's like that EP chemistry or something? Yes, EP chemistry. Yeah, man. 
I used man, I got C D D's and them, I ain't gonna lie. I just use it for college. Help me with, with fast courses in college, you know. But look, who on y'all team, man, when you with, with a team with only three losses on a year? You know, I, I know y'all could probably get this to a lot of players, but who on the team is y'all leaders, like, show dedication, show effort, on and off the court, and um, it could be you all, but, you know, I'm going to ask why, though. When you give me the name, I'm going to say why, you know. And um, who, who's those, those guys on y'all team? I would say Howard. Howard guess. Okay. Shooting guard or point guard? Shooting guard. Shooting guard. About what? About six foot two, six foot three? Six, six, six two. And he thick. He ain't no thin dude. He thick. Yes, sir. We be hitting the weights or something. Something going on. But what, what do he do, man? He always the first one in the gym, night in, night out. He always pushing himself on and off the court, too. He always lead the team in GPA, too. I say he had like a four or five GPA. 4.5? Yes, sir. Wow. That's a wild for you. What you think, sir? Uh, like you said, there's a lot of people on the yeah. team in the league. But I think Malik Robertson, uh, okay. our point guard. All right. Yeah, he's short, but he got some weight on him. He's a, he showed dedication. He, he's a tough little point guard. Tough little point guard. Mm -hmm. First one to pick up on defense. As soon as the shot go in, he right in you. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's smart off the court, too. He got a 3-6, I think. He, um, and when you see Howard, you see him. They're always working together, pushing each other in practice, mm. making sure the practice ain't looking too too crafty. We, we stick to what we got. Now, now tell me, uh, how classification is what? He is a senior. And, and Malik? Junior. Junior, just like y'all two. Okay, all right. So that, that's great. That's great, man. That's great. Okay. Um, we went over them short-term goals. Uh, this is a this is a big one. This is real broad. What is the greatest challenge facing our athletes today, in your personal opinion? I would say social media. Like, people comparing each other to others. Like, okay. they'll see the uh, work on social media and be like, I can't be what he is, but and they'll stop putting the work in. Hmm. But you can't, you can't look at it like that. You just got to keep pushing yourself. Be a bishop and be. Right. What you think? Uh, I think it's the physical and mental challenges. Like waking up every day knowing what you got to do. It's, it's like routine, basically. Mm -hmm. You know, with us, we, we know what we got to do. We're going to have to stick to it to win what we got to win. So, and some people, you got to mentally prepared to just not quit every day. Hmm. That's all right. That's all right, man. Well, look. What, what do y'all think uh, y'all future goals going for? It could be basketball future goal or life future goals. What y'all think about doing in the future, man? And I know you're just a junior right now, but, you know, you have to do the best you can. I would say uh, being a business owner or a construction company, I like construction. Like, like Louisiana got some bad roads, and I want to fix those in the future. Watch out now. Anybody in the family doing that? No, sir. I'll be the first. Okay, that's all right. Trendsetter, all right. What you think? Uh, long term will be going to college majoring in architectural design. Okay. Uh, I want to be the first to graduate in my family. Um, that's, that's male or female? Uh, first period? First male. First male, okay. I was the first male in my family. That's good, okay, I got gotcha. you. First male to graduate, and I like to move out away to study, but then come back and fix up some of the homes and build homes for the homeless, because there's, there's a lot of down places down here. Okay, I understand, I understand. Do something for the community. Sir. Okay. Well, I'm going I'm to I'm come at this one. This is going to be the last question, and it's, um, it's for the senior. Um, when this thing all over, man, y'all done had a tremendous season. Uh, you probably had a tremendous, with that grade point average, you done had a tremendous high school career. When this thing all over, what you, what you going to miss, man? I mean, when it's all over, the uh, first thing I miss is my brothers. We, four years strong, uh, these five seniors, we played together since we were since we were little. Hmm. So we all parting ways. It's gonna be it's gonna be bittersweet. But I missed the most about the season was the journey that it took. All the hard practices, all the words we didn't say to each other, all the mm -hmm. words of encouragement. Yes indeed. I'm gonna miss everything about it. That's, that's, that's good stuff. That's good stuff. We got Mr. Franklin here, Carson Franklin. He's a junior. And Mr. Eric Hitchens. And he's a senior. And uh and they're getting ready to go into the playoffs. They fortunate enough, they number two seed. That means they're going to get a bye in the first round. The playoffs going to start Friday. They won't be playing Friday because they won the top four or top eight seeds. And um, they're they going to they gonna play the following Tuesday. So we're going to wish them the best of luck in the playoffs. And watch out. Like they, uh, Coach said, uh, Coach B. White, he said it's all or nothing. And they looking. The, the whole team has a mindset of state championship. But... 
It's a little different when you say, I want to be a state champion, but you're putting up the results to be a state champion, and that's what I've seen with Liberty High. It's going to be a hard road, but they show capable of doing it. Uh, this is Big Coach Leonard Parker. Big Coach Leonard Parker Show. Nobody will satisfy your outdoor needs like reliable roofing. Over the past 15 years, I had two roofing systems, including a chimney installed by Reliable Roofing. I highly recommend them to get the job done. Reliable Roofing, where no job is too big or small, just give us a call. No matter the job, big or small, give us a call. Christine Lacaz, licensed massage therapist, is offering appointment-only massage therapy at Modern Techniques Salon. The massage services are offered on Saturdays and Mondays by appointment only. No walk-ins. Call Christine Lacaz at 225-610-4908. That's massage therapy by appointment only at Modern Techniques Salon, located on Highway 1 in Addis. Call Christine Lacaz for your appointment today, 225 612 you can't smell it, but you can almost taste it. And whether it's for a family get-together or a game day feast, having Manda in the mix always sounds good. For three generations, their quality meats and original seasonings have made Manda a Louisiana legend and made their family sausage Louisiana's family sausage. Manda Fine Meats. The flavor says it all. No one can stop me when I taste the feeling. Nothing could ever bring me down. Nothing, nothing could ever bring me down. Taste the feeling. Live and play on the fairway at Greystone Golf and Country Club, a serene, challenging golf destination located in Denham Springs. For tee times and membership opportunities, go to greystonecountryclub.com. Visit Treads and Care Tire Company's new location on Hooper Road in Central. Locally owned for over 50 years, Treads and Care is known for quality automotive repair and top-notch customer service. I'd like to invite you to come out and see us at our new location in Central. Big Show. Always find a reason to laugh. It may not add years to your life, but it may add life to your years. This is Big Coach Linda Parker signing off. Right. Okay. If you enjoyed the Big Coach Linda Parker Show, you can see more content on the Big Coach Leonard Parker YouTube channel. But what I like for everybody to do is when they come to the shed on their way out the door is to sign the wall. Now when they sign in the wall, you're looking at two different things. We're giving thanks for what the situations that we have in life that we've been given and also the golden horseshoe. Now the story of the golden horseshoe is if the horseshoe is standing up, it pulls out Good luck to everybody who signs the wall. If you had the horseshoe turned downward as you walk through the door, you can get some good luck, but eventually all the good luck would run out because the horseshoe is downward. So that's why you put your horseshoe up. Everybody who signs the wall can get some luck, pray for them, and hopefully some good things will happen to everybody and we give thanks for what we have. That was a good show. The Big Cost Leonard Parker Show.